Welcome to IC3D training video Advanced Carton Fold Tools. IC3D's Carton Fold Template has functionality that can repair and edit badly drawn DXF cutter profiles. Drag the Carton Fold Template into the 3D view. Import a DXF cutter profile. This example shows a structure that has some lines that do not join together and need to be corrected before we can create a model. Split all the lines using the Split Lines button, turning the cutter to green. Then holding the keyboard Shift key, select all the middle lines in the structure so that these can be changed to folds. Once all the required lines have been selected, click on the Folds button in the toolbar to change them to folds, shown in red. Next, select the Generate Model button. The model generator detects an error that does not allow a face to be created. Select No to the error message. The model generator directs you to the problem area. The fold line does not join properly to the cut lines. The Carton toolbar provides a variety of tools to correct the problem. First, delete the incorrect fold line indicated. Selecting the Add Lines button in the toolbar, Click and drag the line to the selected area between the cut gaps. This can be done freely, or if you hold down the Shift key, the line will draw either vertically straight or horizontally straight. Click on the end of the line once drawn. Repeat with the other gap. Next, draw a line between the horizontal cuts. Using the cursor tool, select the new top line and change it to a cut. Repeat with the bottom line and change to a cut. Select the center line and change to a fold. Use the Fit to Screen button to center the cutter. Generate the model. Another model generator error occurs. Select No to the error message. A horizontal cut line joins a vertical cut line. Change the vertical cut line to a fold. Use the Fit to Screen button to center the cutter. Generate the model. An adjacent face error occurs, indicated by the face that is white. All other faces have turned yellow. OK the error message, and using the Zoom tool, browse to the corner of the face. Cuts are overlapping the folds. Select the Edit and Move Points Mode button in the toolbar to reveal anchor points between the two faces. These anchors can be clicked and moved freely, or if you hold down the S key and click and drag the anchor, it will cleanly snap onto the next anchor point to join the faces. Zoom into the bottom corner of the face to find more overlaps. Select the Edit and Move Points Mode button in the toolbar again and move the anchor points so that they no longer overlap. By holding down the S key and clicking and dragging the anchor so they cleanly snap on to the next anchor point. Select the cursor tool in the toolbar. Generate the model. The repaired model can now be generated. Change the substrate of the model as desired using the Substrate drop-down menu. Add your own custom substrate selecting the Add Substrate button. In Substrate Editor, select a front material from the Material Editor drop-down menu. Then select a back material from the Substrate Editor drop-down menu. Add a material thickness. Select Save As and name the new substrate, then Save. The material appears on the 3D model in the preview. The substrate can be edited as desired using the Edit Substrate button. Click back on the editor and using the keyboard, select Command F to select the fold lines. Enter a figure of 90 degrees in the angle field. The model folds. Add the model to the scene. On your keyboard, select Command and click on a carton face in the 3D view. In the Carton Options window, use the up and down arrows in the Angle field to change the angle of the face. 
This completes the IC3D training video, Advanced Carton Fold.